Seriously, what's going on with these reserveless lands? Let's take a look, it's coming up next. Hey guys, welcome back, MTG Moxman here. I hope you guys are hanging awesome on a Thursday, having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome aboard, join in the fun, right? All right guys, I've been compiling information on this video for a while, I thought we'd just blow our minds, have a little bit of fun. Everything here is reserveless lands today, everything, because the sales are very strong. And of course that shouldn't be surprising to anyone. Anyone who plays the old school formats, mana base is key in almost every format you play in. So why would it be any different in the old school formats, right? The old lands are just so unique, amazing art, and they're just great cards to have. So let's take a look at a few of them today and have some fun. Our first card is going to be City of Traders. I remember this card being 60, 70 bucks. That's what the gold border ones go for now. Isn't that right? It's crazy. Um, I actually only own one copy of this. I don't have multiple copies. I'd like to have a place out of four, but this one is kind of jacking up a lot and really reaching with strong sales. Now, at $390 Canadian, $340 in the US, and of course, $240 in the EU. But the sales are strong. People are buying it daily across multiple platforms. I checked my local stores, of course, it is sold out. Um, but they also told me from two of the stores, they have several people on a wish list. It's probably the same person on multiple lists. But it's cool to know that people are actually looking for the card and are trying to get their hands on copies. Probably for Commander, Cube, some fun stuff, right? Amazing, okay? If you have a card, great job, because you're going to hold on to it, gain some real value, hold the line on that card. It's only going to go up in price, right, guys? It just, awesome. City of Traders, what a wicked card. Now, our next card coming up is going to be Volros Stronghold. We've talked about this card. This was at the beginning of the buyout. Remember how amazing we thought this card was? And it was underpriced at like 60, 70 bucks. I got mine a little bit late at like $80 for a near mint copy. But look at that. Okay, I remember seeing this jump up on stores like 401 Games and stuff. It just started jacking up as they were being sold out. Now, at $175 Canadian, even somebody like me who bought it only a few months ago, it's basically doubled in value. It's a very underrated land. Remember, it doesn't come into play tapped. You could put creature cards back on top of your library. That's amazing. And you could pick, it's amazing. Now, at $155 in the US, $85 in the EU, this is another card that has strong sales, daily sales across multiple platforms. It looks like people are jockeying for a better copy, like they're going for the near mint copies, which is kind of driving up the price and leaving the lower end ones still hovering. And there are a couple of fakes on eBay. I checked it out. When you see a card that has even edge wear all the way around, right there is a red flag. I will have a video coming up that's gonna go over some of the fakes and what to look for, but I'm telling you now, it's a red flag right away. Always, if you're if you're not sure about something, a lot of people use me and talk to me in my email. I will review the card online, tell you what I think. If anything looks suspicious, I'm going to tell you not to buy it. But remember, I didn't graduate Magic University. I'm sorry. Didn't make it through my first semester. I have no clue what goes on in the world. This is just an entertainment channel, okay? Sorry, can't help you. Great card, though. Pick it up if you haven't got one yet. Look for a copy. If you just want a played copy, go for heavily played. If you want something to collect, go for that near mint to add to your collection. Gorgeous card. An amazing usage. All right, Kajoran Outpost. I remember picking these up for a dollar when I was a kid, so I could have four my white weenie deck. Then I remember later on going for copies that are like eight, ten bucks. I have six copies of this card myself, uh, two in a deck and a place set of four in another deck. Guys, it's an amazing card. Think about how much it costs now, like uh, the castle from what, Throne of Eldraine, it takes four mana to create a creature. This costs two to create a one-one. Yes, you have to bury a planes when it comes into play, but it taps for it taps for mana, and you get creatures from it. That's not really a drawback when you look at a card like this. Not to mention, there's lots of ways of going back into your graveyard and bringing land back into play. Now, an average price in Canada, you're looking at twenty-seven dollars, pretty reasonable still. Twelve dollars in the EU, even better, and of course, twenty-two dollars in the US. Guys, strong sales again. People are picking up this, and it looks like a lot of the near mint copies. So there's a few people, uh, three that I could suss out. Uh, doing what I do, that they're the multiple buyers. There's three of them, but there are lots of other people buying the card. So it has overall very strong sales of people picking up copies of this. So keep an eye on it. If you don't have copies, get it now. You'll regret it five years from now if you didn't pick it up at these prices. So please do yourself a favor. Get a copy if you don't have one. It's it's an amazing card. Usable in like any white deck. <sniffs> Gotta have one. I have mine, so I'm good. I used to use that card all the time. Just to hold off giant creatures. Oh, horrible. All right. 
Baldurian Trading Post. This card isn't as useful as some of the other ones, but it's not that bad, okay? The fact it can ping damage on people is very nice. You got that small creature coming to get you, ping a damage. Now, it's only $15 Canadian, $10 in the US, $5.25 in the EU, and again, strong sales. All these lands today have strong sales. And I mean strong, multiple copies, play sets being sold. Very interesting. This one is not on any wish list stuff I could find here in Toronto or any of the stores I called in the States. No, no, they, they, they have one or two copies available. We don't have any locally, uh, but you can find these things on TCG Player. You can find them on eBay. You're going to be able to find it on Card Market. You can get this card. At that price, imagine having a few of those in play. Remember, if they're not legendary, you have four of those in play, start pinging people. That's four damage up to. It's a lot of fun just to ping creatures off, man. Great card, beautiful artwork, very nostalgic when I see a lot of the alliances stuff from back in the day. Kind of blows the mind a bit. You go, yeah, it's good cards, man. Good stuff, and I remember it because I remember using it. Goblin deck, so much fun. All right, the next one, and this is this is funny. I consider this one one of the weaker ones, like the red one. They just didn't, they made the white one cool. They made the blue one amazing. They made the black one wow. But when you look at these, you go, ah, just ah. Now, when it comes into play, you still got to bury that forest. It does tap for a forest, though. Now, the thing about the Heart of Yavimaya is it does give plus one, plus one. So if you put this with, like, uh, uh, what's that What's that? Pendlehaven, the land that taps for... You could you can add these on and give pluses to creatures, which is kind of nice, especially in a green deck. You want to pump them up. Average price still very affordable, $8.50 in Canada, $3 in the U.S., and, of course, two seventy dollars EU. Guys, strong sales. It's funny how Canada's a little bit more expensive. I think we have a smaller market a lot of the times, which is why you see slightly increased prices. And that's why people tend to go outside the country to buy the card. But, guys, strong sales. People are picking up play sets of this. Obviously, they're using it in things like Commander Cube and adding it to their decks because it doesn't hurt it. It doesn't hurt to put in a little plus one, plus one that's going to bump your creature up. And, again, the artwork's just spot on. I remember using this in like an elf deck back in the day before we had the really cool elves, just when you had like Finhorn and, and, and Lana War and stuff. But it's still an awesome card. Very desirable in the sense you can use it. And again, if you don't have a playset, you're going to regret spending the 30 bucks to get a playset five years from now if the land finds real usage in other decks, other things that put counters and pluses on. It's quite nice. Now, here's one of our favorites on the channel. I know you were hoping this one would come up. We are talking Seldevi Excavations, all right? This has been the channel card as a lot of our funds started out as the channel really started to grow at the beginning of the buyout. Um, I bought a few more copies myself. There's a few of us like Acid and those guys, uh, Angel. There's a lot of us here who like, if you're on the channel, you got to get this card, at least one copy. And at an average price of 32 bucks, when we talked about it, it was like $7. So it's really jumped up and a lot of it is due to the fact a lot of us on the channel bought this card. So at $32 Canadian, $20 in the EU, 25 in the US, but again, strong sales. It still sells daily, okay? English copies more than over the foreign language cards, but even the foreign ones are selling. Guys, it's a very good land. The fact it lets you like cycle up, look at your cards, taps for two mana, it doesn't have a drawback when it comes in, you sacrifice an island, but it doesn't come into play tapped and it taps for two. It's obviously one of the stronger lands from this land cycle. It's a beautiful card. And again, it can be used in lots of decks. You're gonna regret if you don't have this card. So keep on top of it. Try to save up if you don't have the cash. Or if you do have the cash, buy some extra copies for yourself. Make yourself some money and just call it a day. You won't regret it. Now, our last one today is an oldie but a goodie. I myself own a playset. I had the one and then I bought a playset later just when it started to take off. So I paid 30 bucks for each one. Here we go. That's right. City of Shadows. Right from the dark. Guys, an epic story card. This is the city where all the mages hid during the persecution. When they're all being burned and killed and stuff. Um, very cool. Good lore, good history. But it's also a very desirable and usable card. At an average price of $49 in the EU, $130 in Canada, and $70 in the US. Canada's higher than everybody else again. It's a little bit eh, but that's the way it's going to be. So Canadians, if you're looking for this card, you're going to have to jump to the US or even possibly go overseas to get it where it could be cheaper based on the shipping. But again, strong sales. Again, I saw a couple of fakes of this card on, on eBay. So be careful if you're looking there. Check, uh, send me an email if you're interested in any of the cards there. I will tell you. Um, this card here has a lot of uses for the fact you can just block, sack it, and feed the city. And then the city can give you more counters, more mana, more mana, more mana. 
it gives you somewhere to put your creatures if they're going to block and die anyway and then pump up or if you have something that makes tokens you don't care about you can feed them to the city to pump that up for later on for a massive spell very nice very very utilitarian it's very nice you can really utilize it for a lot of different things and the art is just epic on it i love this card i can't tell you how much i was happy that i got these for like 30 bucks a piece 20 something dollars they came to 30 bucks each um right at the beginning i was like oh i better get this before i still have the chance i don't want to regret it later and you'll feel the same way when you look at those prices on some of those cards they're still very attainable very reachable they haven't jumped up um other than city of traders really climbing high the air ones are all attainable guys get them while you can because some people are out there buying them right now and i'm here to inform you that it's happening what you choose to do with that information is completely up to you guys i am looking forward to seeing how this all goes um, now for those of you who asked about the cake party, when we're going to have the cake party at 5,000 subscribers, boom, make sure you subscribe to the channel, help us get there. But I'll put a poll out at around 4,500 to see what type of cake I'm going to eat. And of course I'm going to put flavors I like guys. And there will be some cheesecake. I'm going to put the ice cream cake. You'll see. We're going to have some good times. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. This is MTG Mox, man. I am looking forward to seeing you all here tomorrow. Have a great day. Have a happy Thursday. Uh, there'll be, of course, the Friday video and then, of course, a pre-recorded Saturday video. And I'll see you guys Sunday for the live stream. Have a great one, guys. Enjoy the day because it is weather. Yeah, they're, they're finishing up my basement piping. It's so cool. They're, like, doing the cement work now. Hopefully, I have all my stuff back tonight. It's crazy. Can't even do laundry. Hey, guys. Big shout out to all my patrons out there. Thank you so much, guys, for being such loyal followers, helping me out, help build the channel. You guys are all helping me build something, and I just want to thank you all for it. It's awesome, man. Have a great one. Stay safe out there. That's right, I'm opening a pack because I deserve it. It's been rough, man. All this home stuff going on, you just need to crack a pack and... <sighs> Smell the card. By the way, the artwork here was like really good stuff, you know. They still use these lands. Isn't that funny? They still use these kind of lands now. The ones that tap for one life and stuff. Alright. We got uh, Venerable La Manchu. We got Suspension Field. That was a good card. I remember using that one. Oh, yeah. Drop dead. Don't tell me to drop dead. Ready? Ready? What we get? We got Crackling Doom. <sighs> Crackling Doom. Two damage each opponent. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among he or she controls. I guess it's not that bad, really. Oh, we got a Foil Summit Prowler. Look at that. Foiling, though? Look at that. If you take a look at that foiling... It's just, it's kind of subtle, but the cards stay flat, man. It's just so much better made. Wizards, you got cheap, man. All right, guys, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. I cracked, I can, you know what? These cards actually smell really strong. I can smell it. I can smell it.